Meg mad as Dior kicks Harry out to sign a $20 million deal with Johnny Depp following the Duke's failure at the coronation. Experts claim that Prince Harry's Dior suit that he wore for the coronation could have been a rebellious move as he and Meghan Markle make a deal with the brand. The Duke of Sussex looked smart in the bespoke three-piece suit designed by Dior's artistic director Kim Jones, especially for his appearance at Westminster Abbey. However, according to new reports, Dior kicked Prince Harry out of a brand ambassador after his failure following the coronation, and they replaced him with Johnny Depp. Dior is doubling down on its relationship with Johnny Depp. The French luxury fashion house and cosmetics giant, which stood by the star even when he faced choppy PR waters amid his legal battle with ex-wife Amber Heard, has signed Depp to a massive deal. Sources peg the three-year deal at upwards of $20 million. After that, showing at the coronation, no wonder Prince Harry didn't get the deal. To be fair, it's never been suggested that Harry was ever in the running as the face of Dior. Johnny Depp's been it for some time now. It seems that Dior thought of dropping him because of Amber Heard's claims. However, sales went up, presumably because of his fan base. So Depp stays, because he makes money. It's as simple as that. Johnny Depp has been the face of this cologne since 2015. They stood beside him and it remains in the top men's cologne. Dior will throw Harry the odd item of clothing provided that it will be at some high profile event, which they can then feature on their Instagram. When will that be, Harry? At one of those ceremonies where your wife collects her nothing awards. Pretty sure those Danish non-working royals have modelled for Dior too, but at least they have good looks and youth on the side. Meanwhile, Prince Harry's untidy and unpleasant to look at, had he not been royal and been born with the subpar looks he currently has, there's no way Dior would be interested in giving him anything. Same goes for Meghan Markle. Depp's new Dior deal coincides with a high-profile showing for him at the upcoming Cannes Film Festival, where he'll be on hand for the May 16th world premiere of Maiwan's historical drama, Jean de Barry, in which he plays King Louis XV. He's expected to attend a Dior dinner on May the 17th before heading to London the following day for a Jeff Beck tribute, where he'll perform alongside Eric Clapton and Rod Stewart. Rumour has it that Meghan and Harry are uninvited to Cannes, despite WME's intervention. Harry's late mother, Princess Diana, was also a fan of Dior, and wore their outfits in the months before her death at age 36, including famously at the Met Gala in 1996. At that event in New York, Diana wore a Dilks. At that event in New York, at that event in New York, Diana wore a Dior silk slip dress and carried a Dior handbag, initially known as a Couture, which was later renamed the Lady Dior, in her honour. The handbag remains one of the brand's most well-known items to date.